Je vais faire un vin. Mess with the chick that like you, not the one you like. The one you like, you're going to accept all kind of stuff out of it. And y'all know it's true. You're going to accept all kind of stuff, but you never accept off another chick. And it might be another chick right next door that like you and, and going to do everything and keep you right. But uh, you'd rather mess with this pretty girl over here that's giving you all kind of problems, you dig? That's how the world goes. Not just with the pip and the whole game. A lot of people have a tendency to write people they're supposed to treat right, that's loyal and dedicated. They overlook it and they treat the other people right. That mean them no good, no intentions. And that's life. I'm going to play this one more time just so you guys can really hear what this man said. Most important lesson I've learned. Mess with the chick that like you, not the one you like. The one you like, you're going to accept all kind of stuff out of it. And y'all know it's true. You're going to accept all kind of stuff, but you never accept off another chick. And it might be another chick right next door that like you and, and going to do everything and keep you right. But uh, you'd rather mess with this pretty girl over here that's giving you all kind of problems, you dig? That's how the world goes. Not just with the pip and the whole game. A lot of people have a tendency to write people they're supposed to treat right, that's loyal and dedicated. They overlook it and they treat the other people right. That mean them no good, no intentions. And that's life. So um, I saw this as I was scrolling. And, of course, lo and behold, the comment section was, it, it went haywire. OK, you have women who are in the comment section going off. You know, I know we're not sitting here taking advice from a pimp and this and this and that. And it's so interesting because if a woman comes up and she has a, a certain background, um, you know, in the same field that this man has and she is saying stuff against men. Women would be like, oh, yeah, you know, I, well, I'm going to listen to her because she know her thing or two or, you know, she's experienced. But because this man has a certain path or whatever, it doesn't mean that he can't say anything that's valid. That's the thing that I don't like about uh, the way that a lot of people's mentality is. A lot of people, they say, oh, well, if he, you know, he's not married. He's not a husband. He knows nothing about women. He has no idea about this. He has no idea about that as if he's not a man. Like, as if he's not a man and hasn't had his own relationship experiences, right? Like, you don't have to put everything together in one box and then say, oh, well, we can only trust or this or that. No, if something makes sense, it just makes sense and it doesn't matter who it comes from. That's first of all. Second of all, I saw a lot of women in the comment section saying like, oh, well, you know, um, this is actually the other way around. Women shouldn't be with a man who doesn't love them more because this and this and that. No, let's clear. let's clarify this right now. This message is solely for men, okay? Men should not be with a woman that they like more. Women are supposed to like their man more. And of course, I already know, y'all gonna be like, River, what you talking about? No, because I need my man to be sweating over me. No, you don't. Because women have a tendency that when they have a man in the palm of their hand, they don't know what to do Uh with that they don't know what to do with the quote-unquote power they don't know what to do with those feelings and what they end up doing is treating him bad disregarding him because they can have him at, at their every whim they start to kind of like uh disregard him disrespect him okay you see men know how to marginalize things men are very intelligent they know how to be like okay you know, well, she likes me more, but guess what? Uh, she might not have been my first choice, but it doesn't mean that I, that's going to stop me from marrying her. It doesn't mean that's going to stop me from staying with her and being with her because, you know what? I prioritize my respect more than anything, and she meets me there. She doesn't stress me out. She's peaceful. She's calm. She's kind. She's attractive. I may have been interested in this person, but guess what? I'm going to take this person... Because I can trust them with me. Women, on the other hand, are quite the contrary. Okay? Women will see a guy who is all over them, head over heels from them. And you know what they do? In their mind, they take that man for a fool. 
they turn around and be like, well, you the one that chose me. You know, I could treat you any kind of way because I was doing you a favor by being with you. Men don't tend to say that. That's not a normal behavior for a man to say, well, I'm doing you a favor by being with you because I could be with anybody. That's more of what women say. Majority of the time, women are saying, well, I could be with anybody. You know, you're the one who chose me. You're the one who married me. You're the one who did this. You're the one who did that. I didn't force you. Women tend to throw that in people's faces. A woman who is genuinely in love with a man or genuinely likes a man like so much, there's going to be a lot of things that she's going to be willing to do. Right? She's going to be in her most uh, moldable and cooperative state because she wants to present her best self to this man so that she does not lose him. So she's going to be on guard. She's going to be respectful. She's going to honor him. She might come out of line because, you know, she might not be perfect or whatever the case is. And he might have to, you know, talk to her a certain way or tell her what it is that he wants to mold her to the type of woman that he wants to be with. But she's going to be sitting there like, yeah, I'm, I'm down. I'm ready. Whatever. I'll do it. Yeah, sure. She's going to be accepting of change. Because of how much she values him. You see, when a woman don't like you like that, you can't even talk to her too hard. <laughs> I'm being real. You can't even talk to her too hard. Because she's going to be like, I know this man that I barely even like is not talking to me like that. I know this man that I gave a shot and who I gave the opportunity to be with me is not talking down to me or is not uh, raising his voice or is not telling me what he demands and what he doesn't demand or what he asking what I bring to the table. I know he not doing that because he was my second choice. That's just how it works. A lot of people don't like to think about the double standard, but there are double standards. There are because we are just made differently. Men and women have a lot of similarities, but they have extreme differences. And you know where a lot of those differences are? In our brain. The way our brains are wired. The way that we think. And women also, we have a womb. So our hormones and everything, we just are wired extremely differently. And that is okay. We have different strengths. Different powers. There's nothing wrong with that. Although when you say this to a woman, they get so upset. Oh, well, no, we're just saying what they say. No, we're different. And I don't know why there's a problem with us being different. Like, that's completely okay. Completely okay. But <clears throat> it doesn't matter, again, the background or where the conversation stem from, stems from. But what matters is the truth. A lot of men get heartbroken. You know, they get uh, walked all over, mistreated. Then they turn into, to, you know the gung-ho red pill womanizer because of the fact that they put their trust into somebody who, who exposed the true female nature. And now, sometimes everybody got to pay for it after that. Just because, again, it's very different. It's very, very different. Now, this does not mean that a woman should be with a man who don't like her. That's, that's foolish, right? That would be foolish advice. But you see... A lot of women have been told the latter. A lot of women have been told, oh, you need to be with a man who loves you more because as a woman, you'll grow to like him. And that's not true. You'll, go to, you'll grow to resent him. You'll grow to despise him. Men are very logical thinkers. Men think of things, for the whole picture. They think about how you're going to be as a mother, how you're going to be as a wife. Are you going to be good in, uh, can I bring you places? Are you going to be a good representative of me? Are you going to be loyal to me? Are you going to respect me? Can I bring you in every scenario and you're going to be able to, to maneuver through it? All that, you know, liking more and feelings and emotions, they know how to prioritize. Right? They know how to organize, okay, what makes sense, what doesn't make sense, what's the best decision, what's not the best decision. You see, women get a lot, they get really caught up in that whole feelings thing. And again, once they feel that this man has put all his eggs in one basket, a lot of women start to, whether knowingly or unknowingly, push this man away. Because they 
they inherently, as, mu as much as men are the ones who chase, right? They say men are the ones who are the ones who chase or whatever the case is. Women actually are the ones who, uh, uh, what would I say, mark their target, mark their territory. Women are the ones who actually do that. A lot of men end up in relationships because women have just displayed how much that they love, the, like this man, adore this man, care for this man. And then this man is deciding if he wants to take this next step because she's already presented the opportunity to him. That's what happens a lot of the times. So with that being said, women are the ones who actually enjoy the fact of having to kind of showcase their, their feelings, show their behavior, be the more affectionate one, be the one who's more emotional. Like women obviously always do this all the time. So for a woman to then say, oh, well, you know, you need to be with a man who loves you more and you need to do this. A woman will not grow to love this man. There's a lot of things that he's going to have to go through. And again, we're talking about normal relationships. We're not talking about transactional relationships or women who are with men because of finances or whatever. We're talking about normal relationships because transactional relationships are completely different. They're run with a, diff a whole different program. <laughs> but with majority of the relationships, a lot of the men, again, they have to be in a safe space. They're the ones that are losing when it comes to finances. They're the ones that, you know, have to deal with the woman who was walking away majority of the time. You see, when a woman is ten toes down for a man, again, not to be foolish, not to the foolish demise of this woman as well. That's not what I'm saying. But when a woman is in it to win it, she's going to be there. Ebbs and flows. She's going to stay with you. Okay, she's going to ride the waves with you, the, the ebbs and flows. Not because you just lost your job yesterday. She's going to be like, oh, well, I don't know how this is going to work. No, not if she's in love with you. Not if she loves you. Not if she's the one who, who uh, saw you as this important entity and saw you as the prize and was, you know, doing her thing to convince you that she should be chosen. It's a different ball game than, than a woman that you see and you think look good and you have to convince her that you kind of like her. It's all the time. It's going to be like that she is, she's the leader of the relationship. All the time. It's going to be like she's the, she's the one who sets the tone to everything that goes on. It's going to be a strong imbalance. A woman who loves a man more, it doesn't mean that he doesn't love her also. But a woman who is... Uh, you know, in it more, more emotionally involved, more emotionally connected, in love with this man, there's a lot of things that he's going to be able to, you know, blindly trust in the relationship. And I feel like, I feel like this conversation is like, there's so much more that could be, there's so much context that could be given, but we'd be here all day. <laughs> okay. We'd really be here all day because there's so much more context to this conversation. But I want to play one more time exactly what it is that he had to say. Most important lesson I've learned. Mess with the chick that likes you, not the one you like. The one you like, you're going to accept all kind of stuff out of it. And y'all know it's true. You're going to accept all kind of stuff, but you never accept off another chick. And it might be another chick right next door that like you and, and going to do everything and keep you right. But, uh, you rather mess with this pretty girl over here that's giving you all kind of problems. You and, and that's the thing. Like, you know, you won't have to compromise your self-respect or your uh, your non-negotiables as a man. You won't have to have to compromise, you know, your standards. What it is that you require, how it is that you require somebody to treat you or to talk to you. There's a lot of pretty girls that get away with a lot of foolishness. Okay. Don't don't get it twisted. There's a lot of women who, uh, on the outside, they look perfect. They look like they're without spot, without wrinkle. They can't do no wrong. But uh, there's some a man somewhere putting up with a lot of foolishness, just because she knows how to use her beauty or whatever. And and it's not for good. It's to the harm of this person. It's harming him. It's harming the way he feels. It's harming their connection. His self-respect, his dignity, his pride, he's putting to the side. 
based off of what it is or how he feels about her. Because the thing is, men being logical thinkers, it is not becoming of a man for a woman to have him like this. Because he has to think logically. He has to think straight. Okay, men being natural leaders for a man to have you and you're you're, you know, in his support and he is leading you in a certain way and you can trust his leadership. It is OK for you to be that way. It is OK for you to look to him for everything. It is OK for you to look to him and say, what should I do? What should I go? What did it looking for him for his leadership? But you see the other way around. It's not healthy because your money will be off. You won't be able to be creative. Your, your business strategies will be off because she have you like this. On a string. Completely unhealthy. Completely unhealthy. But anyways, I want to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you.